Hello there everyone out there, this is your old friend Comet Urban again. And today I want to do a very special video for a uh, fellow YouTuber and post-war Lionel uh, lover and collector like I am, train fanatic. And in one of his videos, and I'll post it in the comment section below, he showed that for his birthday he got a Lionel post-war diesel set from 1959 and I actually found that particular set in the book let me find the uh, 59 real quick here and I'll look at it see right here it's from this year here 1959 is when it was from if I can find it here I had I should have had this marred but I didn't ah right here here it is. Uh, and this is for you, buddy, so I know you know a little bit of information about it, but this is from the uh, the standard catalog of Lionel Trains. That's 4569 by David Doyle. This is what they say. He says about it. And that set is the 1623W 5-car Northern Pacific Diesel Freight, and its original retail value was $59.95. Included in... This set was the 2349 Northern Pacific GP9, the 3512 Operating Fireman and Ladder Car, the 3435 Aquarium Car, the 6424 Flight Car with Autos, the 6062 Gondola with Cable Reels, and the 6017 SP Type Caboose, 81013 Curve, and 31018 Straight Track, 6029 in Coupling Section. A 1053 60 watt transformer, a CTC lock on, tube of lubricant, and an instruction sheet. Now, the attractive and now desirable 2349 Northern Pacific GP9 was introduced at the front of this set. It was packaged in a tan corrugated carton with an orange sleeve. Uh, behind the new diesel was an interesting array of rolling stock. The most sought after one of these today was the new for 1959 aquarium car. Its body was molded to clear plastic which was masked, leaving four large windows and then painted green. A film strip was, in was installed inside and had images of fish painted on it. This film strip was driven by a vibrator motor that was controlled by an on-off lever extending through the bottom of the car. When backlit by the interior illumination, the movement simulated fish swimming. This car rode on AAR type trucks with operating duck couplers. At least four variations of this car varying widely in values were produced and conclusive evidence as to which versions may have come in this set or have not yet surfaced. And there are, are four versions and I'll show you here. Version number one of the 35, uh, 3435 aquarium car, the most desirable and perhaps the earliest version of the traveling aquarium had the circle surrounding the molded in L side logo picked out in gold which I can try to show you here um, the heat stamp lettering on the car was done in gold and included tank one tank number one tank number two markings beneath the window so tank number one and tank number two okay um, the version 2 of this car was almost as hard to find and desirable as the version identical to type 1 but lacking the gold around the L logo. Type 3, some cars were made with gold heat stamped lettering but omitted not only the gold circle around the L but the tank 1 and tank 2 designations. And finally type 4, the bulk of the aquarium cars had yellow rather than gold markings and these were rubber stamped rather than heat stamped. The rubber stamped cars had neither the tank labels nor the L encircled. Maybe you can tell me buddy which version of the car you've got and I can maybe we can try to figure this out. Okay the other car in this outfit to garner collector interest is the 3512 operating fireman and ladder car. While always difficult to find an unbroken condition with all its original accessories, the two decorative ladder and the three nozzles, the variation with the silver extension ladder is practically coveted. Uh, the operating fireman and ladder car, a component of outfit 1623W, is sometimes found with a silver rather than black extension ladder. 
The silver ladder variation is more desirable than the black, but all are sought after in complete unbroken condition. So if your car ain't broken, minus the little drive thing underneath the wheel, that's pretty cool. All of the rolling stock in this outfit came with AAR trucks and was packed in perforated boxes. The outfit box itself was a yellow display style set box. Okay, now here's the kicker. In excellent condition, your set goes for $1,200. Like new condition is twelve grand is $2,100. And your scarcity is 7 And based on the scarcity, which is right here, scale of 1 to 8, with 8 being the hardest to find, your set's a very fucking hard set to find. And here's uh, the original catalog art from the 1958-59 catalog right here of the set and it says hear that horn it's the northern pacific with the newest and best in 027 outfit number 1623w and i can't really read that that's way 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 too small for me to read but there you go buddy there there it is that's the catalog illustration of the set so yeah i hope that kind of helps a little bit about your a little that i hope that helps you a little bit more with the information and stuff on that set and and if I was you buddy I definitely get a copy of this book if you're gonna be trying to collect post war train sets this'll help so I'll get a I'll get a good shot of it for you. This is what it's called and it's by David Doyle and it's a great book. And if anyone else wanna watch this and learn something, tell me. Until next time this is Commodore Urban, you know, signing off here. Good day to you guys.